hi and welcome to Tech Talk Travel. We're here from Hedna, LA, and I've got with me the incoming president and outgoing president of Hedna, um, Sarah, Sebastian, thanks for joining us. Great to have you here. Thanks Thank for you. having us here again at Hedna. Absolutely. Um, Sarah, as the outgoing president, what's perhaps some of the most, um, what are the biggest moments that you've been most proud of during your, your tenure? Definitely our conferences. We've raised the bar in our conference content, the quality of our conferences, the attendance records year after year at our conferences, the sponsorship dollars, our members supporting us, and also I'm really proud of the marketing that we've done and the social media presence on our conferences and overall at Hedna in general. Over the next three years now, how do you see the progression of Hedna evolving? What's, uh, what's on the radar for you? Hedna has always been about technology um, and distribution, right? What I'd like to see us do is focus more on the guest journey and really break the molds of just the distribution aspect of things, which have be has become murky a little bit in hospitality already, it includes pricing, it includes payments, but really sort of close the loop in the guest journey and use technology in order to improve on that and, and really scale, automate and, and make it more immediate. Uh, and I think there is great improvements that we can do together and really improve on that guest experience. Do you have intentions to move into other markets? Obviously you do the European market, we've got the US market. Is Asia or the Middle East on the radar, on the map? So we're super happy to announce that we're going back to Asia. Hedna, about 20 years ago, had a conference in Asia and we're going to Bangkok in September. Okay. I'll let Seb Sebastian's going to oversee that conference, so I'll let him speak to that. It'll be exciting. No, we're really looking forward to uh, Bangkok specifically. It's a very dynamic market. Asia has been huge, seeing huge growth in travel and, and in hospitality and uh, you know technology as well. And uh, a lot of our members are encouraging us to be present in, in in Asia. Uh, we've had great support from uh, companies wanting to establish their businesses in, in Asia. So we're, we're very confident that we can put great programming into Bangkok and, and great feedback uh, along the way. So we're really looking forward to that. Along Asia is, is one, uh, but what we also want to continue to do is our regional networking events, which we've started a couple of years ago. Okay. And we want to do more of those, and whether they are in Asia Pacific or in South America or in Middle East or in Europe, etc. We are really looking to our members feedback in order to establish where can Hedna go. Uh, these are smaller events, there are a couple of hours of content, mostly networking opportunities to really get local members and local companies together to have a conversation around technology, networking, collaboration. And, and we would like to do more of those in 2020 and beyond. We're talking about events now, mm -hmm. in our industry, especially in the last two years, we've really been flooded with um, at a number of new events, not just from organizations, but also from technology providers themselves, associations, a whole bunch of people are coming up with events now. There's a lot of competition out there. So how, as the incoming president, how do you intend to keep Hedna relevant when it comes to that space? Yeah. It's a competitive area now. I think I've been personally involved for at least 10 years at Hedna, and what is unique about Hedna and what continues to be unique about Hedna is the level of collaboration. Uh, this is a non-profit organization that is there for its membership mm -hmm. in order to bring technology, bring education forward. And no other organization in the world does that in this way, in this collaborative, partnership kind of oriented way. And I think that what makes Hedna unique. Uh, now, of course, we have to push each other forward to keep the content relevant, to use current topics that are relevant to our audience. And the board and the members are committed to push and, 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 and keep innovating so that we are remain relevant mm. for our audience. Just to add to that as well, we have the people that are solutioning on stage. They're not just talking about the problems, but the people that are actually going to build the solutions are on stage. The hoteliers at the level that are actually dealing with some of the problems are on stage and working together to solve those problems, which you don't always see at all the other conferences. Yeah, right. It's also a challenge, I think, as well, to make sure that you've got the right balance of hoteliers versus industry folk, when I say industry folk, tech providers, those people mm -hmm. that are actually building the product. Uh, it's a big challenge, mm -hmm. so it, it needs to be appealing to get the people that yeah, the, the people that actually run the hotels there. Yeah, balance is extremely important for this organization, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. the, the board is comprised of mostly hoteliers and hospitality yeah. professionals uh, by our bylaws, and it's, it's a critical component. We want a balanced approach, and we want a conversation amongst partners. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, final question. Hedna, obviously, when it started and found it was built around distribution, electronic <coughs> distribution. We've seen a shift in electronic distribution in, in a number of ways 
ways over the years recently especially. A lot of talk and, and hype is now around the guest journey and you know distribution is a small factor if you like of the entire journey within the guest. So how, how do you see that moving forward when it comes to Hedna as an organisation focusing on distribution? Will you look to perhaps open up to other areas and other ways that you can bring in factors that include the guest journey as such and so that it's a whole package in, in that sense? I think our customers demand it. Yeah. Um, this is a, a technology revolution where in the last five, ten years a lot of friction has been removed and instant gratification is no longer a, a theme, it's a reality. And we need to become faster, we have to become quicker in transacting and you know, uh, from the moment you make an offer anywhere of your products to the moment a customer buys that product, that has to become instantaneous, that has to become scalable and automatic. Mm. All of us use technology for that. This is about really empowering that exchange and make it extremely dynamic. Mm -hmm. And I think Hedna is the perfect platform to make that possible. I also think we have a unique opportunity to partner with the other not-for-profits in our industry like HTNG, which Hedna currently has a partnership with. HSMAI, HFTP, we're all there to solve industry problems. From a hotelier's perspective, distribution is almost blurring with digital and yeah. pricing and everything comes together and it really is about get that guest journey, personalization. Hedna has a unique opportunity to continue to push the industry forward and drive innovation. Yeah, excellent. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Well done, Sarah. Thank Congratulations. you. Congratulations. I'm sure you have um, perhaps a weight of, of relief, uh, release off your shoulders, so I'm sure you're enjoying or looking forward to the next journey that you'll go on. And, Absolutely. Uh, it's yeah. been very rewarding. Thank you to all the members and the supporters such as yourself. Yeah. It's really been a great ride. Fantastic. And Sebastian, wish you all the very best. I'm Thank sure you'll you. do a great job. Thank you. I will keep calling Sarah and say, how did you do that? <laughs> no, I mean, look, this is great. Our past presidents are still heavily involved yeah, exactly. in the association, and we're a network of presidents, and I'm excited, and I will use my quick dial numbers that I have of both the last two or three presidents and, yeah. and, and you know, consult with them on difficult and important decisions. Yeah. I've set the bar high. Yeah. Thank you. You have. <laughs> yeah. You have. You have. Okay, great. Thanks, guys.